Alrighty, folks, welcome back to the Knock Mile Arc. This is Lega 28 of our 50 State Series, Nebraska. And it is nighttime. It's not evening, it is not dusk, it is nighttime. We haven't done a night flight in a long time. So I thought what we would do is follow Interstate 80 from North Platte, Nebraska to Grand Island, Nebraska. And I thought it'd be kind of cool because we can see the interstate light up as we go. We won't fly over the interstate, but because we're going to GPS to get to our destination with the GPS approach. But. You should be able to see the freeway quite easily, plus some pocket cities around. Now, we are giving a default aircraft some love. This is the default Beechcraft Baron 58. I've never flown this before. All I did was do some presets, and then I um, came up with a checklist, which will probably modify as we go. So I haven't flown this before. That also means the weather's turned off, because whenever I fly a plane for the first time, I keep weather off so I know what's me, what's the aircraft, and not worry about the weather and things. So it's all completely dark. We have the windows open or the doors open, but that is it. So we're going to get this thing started up. Then we're going to take off and put in a GPS approach. And that's what we're going to do. So let's hop down inside here quickly, just like that. Let's get inside. We're going to have to turn on a flashlight, I think. We can't really see much. Um, otherwise, let's see what we need to do to get this thing going. Parking brake is on it should be on i wish i knew where the lights were i wasn't going to do this at night because i don't know where the lights are and things to get this lit up but we are going to um do our best anyway all right let's close the door i have a preset for that and then you click right there excellent power levers whoa what's my power lever setting okay um let me Check this carefully. Closed door, power levels quarter, props full forward, mixture forward, battery on. See, here's the problem. I don't know where this stuff is, and now it's dark, and I can't see how I turn off my yoke. All right, battery. Oh, in the night. Battery master. There we go. Do we have any cabin lights? We must. There's our starters. Um, Outside lights. This is all outside. We should probably get these things started, though, because we're going to be turning the engines on soon. Floodlights. That must be outside. Panel. There you go. Panel lights. When do you think floodlights are inside? Inside floodlights? Hmm. Some designs of aircraft takes a long time to catch that up. Let's turn it on anyway and see if our lights turn on. Anyway, we got panel lights, so we can probably turn off our silly flashlight now. So that helps a lot. There we go. Let's see. Battery on. Weight and fuel. Let's do that next here. Wait and fuel, three hours. Yeah, we better not be <laughs> flying for three hours. Let's go an hour and 45 just in case. Better not be that long because I actually have something to do in real life in an hour and a half. It's a meetup on the Minecraft server. Anyway, kind of an impromptu thing. So I'm going to be recording from this video to their video. Change the personality. Anyway, I'm fired up. That's why I'm fired up. Strobe and beacon lights are on. Fuel pump boosts on. I would imagine fuel pump boosts. Are these, the, where are they in this one? Fuel pump boosts. I'm thinking of the um, King Air. This is not the King Air. All right, yell, close prop, or clear prop, close window, left alternator on. That would be this one. Left magneto start hold. Hold. And we are running. Sounds just like an old car. Oh, I love it. I love it. All right, good. Let's see what else. Right alternator on. Right magneto. Start and hold. And that one's running too. Outstanding. All righty. Conditioner's low idle. Where's my conditioner thing? There you go. Okay. Sync gyros. Don't need to worry about that, I guess. Avionics. Um, avionics, avionics, where are you, avionics master? Climate, not modeled, I have in parentheses. Okay, all that's the heater blower stuff. Yep, it's not modeled, but there it is. GPS, radios, flight plan. We are going to do a flight plan, kind of. It's a GPS approach. Um, it's the outside one, yes, delete flight plan. Enter. Is it the ins? It's outside one. Yes, inside one. All right, we're going to do the flight plan manually just because, although the last couple times it's been working in our favor. So here we go. We're going to go from this airport directly to... Which fix do you want to use? We have a small airplane we can maneuver. Let's go to Bex, you... Whatever. You, you tell me what this says. And there we go. 
And then next we're going to go... Oh, the runway. Okay, so we're going to use that to get in. Then that gives us about five miles to get to the runway. So then we're going to just put in the airport, I guess, which is Kilo... What is it? Kilo Golf. Romeo... Where are you? And then Indigo. Just like so. There we go. That's where we're going. That's what we're doing. Let's hop up here and go direct to our waypoint, or direct to our entry point, I guess. Um, let's calculate top descent right now, just because we can. We want to be 3,500. 3,500 at Bexic or something. At 800 feet per minute. Drop. There we go. Simple. Boom. Done. And it must be behind us because it's not popping into our little radar thing. Okay, we'll worry about that a little bit. Um, otherwise, let's see. That looks all cluttered. Hold on. Anyway, all right, that's all we need for that, I think. Just keep that handy. Put that over there. What is next? What is next? Uh, we'll we use GPS and autopilot probably. So there we go. Altimeter barometer doesn't matter because we have no weather turned on, and that's on purpose. 299 or 2 is already in there. Icing and Pytot heat. Um, Pytot heat. Stall warning heat. Stall warning heat. Hmm. Icing. This area. Stall warning heat. Prop shield. Whatever. Surface auto. Okay. Ooh, that made our stuff go crazy over here. Nice. Prop sync on. I just saw you. There you are. Taxi lights on. I just saw you a moment ago, too. There you go. This flood still didn't do anything. Oh, there it is. It did something now. It's that flood. Okay. I like that. But what about cabin lights? I'll mess with that later. I'm sure those of you who know this plane are yelling at me. It's over to your right. I don't know. Panel? Oh, here we go. <laughs> there it is. Panel light dimmers. Instruments. No, that's just the dimmers. And it's working. See? Those are working. Okay, this one. Okay. This one. Yeah, these are working. Great. I still don't know. They're all doing stuff, except I don't know anything about cabin lights. But man, that thing got really bright up there, didn't it? Don't need that one so bright. I just like being able to play with everything. You know, like, it's nice to, you know, get the use out of what you're doing. So, I like to know where everything is, what everything does. Are there lights anywhere? I'll play with that in flight. Let's hop back up front. Because there's one more thing I wanted to play with. That thing. Well, the HSI source. Of course. Okay, let's change all the way to GPS since we'll be using GPS. Alright, I think that's GPS. Yeah, okay. Alright, here we go. Moving along. Taxi lights on. Mixture low idle. It already is. Trim set. I don't know where trim is. I'm not going to worry about it on this right now. I got to get moving. Flaps. One set. Right, because there are two, right? Yeah, so we'll go. One set of flaps for take off let's get out of here let's find a place to go um, parking brake is off let's just turn around whoa 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 um, and not hit helicopters and things and let's try to find a runway I honestly don't know the area and there's no winds I'm just gonna use our runway to our left um, following the little line because that's all I can see right now Okay, the pavement changes. Good. There's blue, which is usually taxiway. Good. Um, looks like we have a runway in front of us here. We'll just take this one. Um, what does it say? It says 17. But that's not the start of the runway, so let's go left and get the start of the runway. 17 up here. Yep, I know. Oh, it's right there. Okay, excellent. Also, this is, yeah, of course, the north-south runway for the most part with the um, rest of the airport behind us. Good. There we go. Okay, we are in business. Quick, hurried, hurried, expedited taxi. And we're going to cruise right along. Taxiway Delta, runway 17. Ooh. Lots of runway choices. All right, here we go. Exped well, my... Roger, stop working because it's going to be too fast, apparently. Let's line this thing up. That was the worst lineup ever. Let's stop and set the parking brake and regroup. Holy cow, that was terrible. 
All right, so here we are. Tactical lights can come off. Landing lights can come on. So let's do word landing lights. Landing, landing, taxi. Nav lights can come on now. They already turned them on, apparently. Mixture full forward. Props full forward. Note the time because I didn't see a clock. I don't see a clock anywhere. Is there, does this have any change? Yeah, you don't do anything in this. 52. Let's just remember 52. Don't know what that means. <laughs> 52 it says. Confirm the trim. Confirm the flaps. Yes. Rotate 85 knots. Climb on 105. Parking brake is off. Here we go. All right. I already forgot what he said. Rotate at what? Rotate 85. Climb on 105. Oh, see, that's the problem with my rudder control and my yoke. Is if I move my hand to look at something. All right. I can't get back on. So now I got my hands on there. Rotate. Ooh, no effort at all. Climb out 105. Gear coming in. Props coming in. Or props. Um, what are those things are called? Flaps. <laughs> coming in. Excellent. Holding 105 as best as we can. Let's see here. I don't see our... There it is to the left. Let's turn left. There's interstate, I'm assuming. That's the interstate we're going to follow. Right there, all lit up. Perfect. Exactly how I expect it to be. Yes. Very nice. Let's try to stay at 105 if we can. Let's just follow the interstate for a little bit before we engage autopilot. Because I don't even know how to do autopilot in this thing. Very nice. Ooh, there's a nice screenshot. And hopefully my big gigantic Maine Coon doesn't step on my stuff. It's been a while since he's visited us during a video. I don't have my studio closed. But it's all open right now. Oh, look at that. Looking down at the interstate. Look out there, big cat. Move, cat. Don't step onto my keyboard. <laughs> You'll change my presets. There's interstate. That was the plan, was to follow this interstate. Flying back over the airport. Hopping outside. Looking at the extra long, extra far draw distance now of night lighting, if you weren't aware. 11.21. How awesome is that? Alrighty, let's see. Let's keep our climb the way it should be. And follow the interstate. We'll do some sightseeing in a moment. Let's get back closer to our GPS track. And now I gotta figure out autopilot. Let's first look at our after takeoff checklist if I have anything. Nope. Yes, props 2200 once we cruise. Okay. Um, where's autopilot in this? There it is. What do we do? Let's hit. First, let's engage it. And whoa, my main coon just jumped. I'll tell you what happened in a minute. Nav, right? Is it going to take nav now? Yes, it's taking nav from me. What am I going to do for climb, though? Is there IS hold on here or anything? I don't see anything about climb. This is all lateral navigation. Do I just use down and up? Maybe I just use down and up. Okay, so we want to be 105. It's a little slow, so if we go down, what happens? Nose down a little. Nose down again. Okay, that's working. I think. Right? No one back to like 103. Let's keep hitting down, see what happens. What happens when I do that? Nothing. Oh, now it's going down. Okay. There. 105, 110, whatever. We'll keep it. Let's go up a couple. Okay, so. Um, yeah, damper. Let's not touch that. All right, so alt. That would be instant alt hold, because I didn't see like a place to preset your alt. Right, I don't see that. What's this stuff over here? That's um, ah, uh, your uh, your ATC, NDB or ADF. I don't see anything about holding your alt, like preset. So we'll just do this. Let's do up a little bit so it gets down 105. We'll just hit alt when we get to altitude, I guess. That's what we'll do. I don't see a preset thing. Maybe it's there. Just can't see it in the dark. Anyway, we're about 108. Good. Seems to bounce around a little bit. Flaps are in, right? Yeah. All right, where are we at on our altimeter? 8,000 already. What? Wow. Okay. 8,500. Let's hit alt. We're getting kind of... I don't want to go much higher than that. So there's 84. 85. Hit alt. That should level us off. And it is. Now we're going to get a whole bunch of speed. And then we're we'll bringing props back to 2,000, I think I said. Yep, props back to 2,000. Again, this is the first time I've done this. So, um, 22. I'm going to say 2,000 doesn't sound right. 
Let's bring our props back to 22. Manifold pressure is way in the green. There we go. There's 23. There's 22 right there. Excellent. Our speed has gone up quickly. I like this plane. This is fun. I really like this plane. So there's I-80. I want to do some sightseeing, though, of course, like I said, because I want to be able to... Um, let's turn this down. That's getting kind of crazy. I can stay up. I guess I could just turn it off down here, wherever I saw that panel. No, flood. I like the flood, though. There's not that much flood. What do, they, what do these do again? I see it changing. There you are, in the middle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Scroll wheel. Alrighty, anyway, let's put our yoke back in. I can't find where our yoke goes. There it is. Okay, good. Enough screwing around. It's really hard to fly a plane for the first time at night. Anyway, I'm enjoying it. There is our um, I-80. We better check our VNAV, though. I've been getting so carried away. 25 minutes, it says. Okay, so in 25 minutes, we will um, start coming down. Let's set that to 50. Okay, I'm going to keep that up. And we're going to do some sightseeing. And I'm going to play around with some buttons and switches. And one question for myself, though. I guess you'd have to set your course because that's set to GPS. Um, what was our course? 087 is out that said, so set this to 087. There we go. I normally don't do that, but why not? We can. DME nav1 nav2. It's not going to do anything because we're using GPS. Okay, good. I think that's all I have to play with now. Nothing to do until descent, which we don't have to worry about way too soon for that. So I will let you do some sightseeing and I'll catch you in how long my time? 24 minutes, my time. Well, we're reaching top of descent, and I apologize, we lost I-80 a long, long, long time ago for some reason when I chose this route. 
in real life I'm sure you can see the lights of the freeway but the draw distance of the immediate area doesn't go out that far when you do see those pocket cities that's beyond the draw distance so for example you can see the light draw distance here the pocket cities that's different kind of lighting so we lost I-80 although I guarantee you it's connecting to this big city right here I'm sure the interstate is right here where my mouse is and I'm sure in real life you can see it but we're a little too far away for the sim to draw it out but that's okay um, we will be fine. I don't see our destination airport yet, but it should be close. It's going to be a sharp right turn, probably by that big city. I would imagine that big light splotch we see near the horizon is our Grand Island, Nebraska, I would think. Otherwise, we have a couple minutes here before we come down, and we will talk then about descent. And there it is, descent to target of VSR is getting up to five or 500, 800. Now i got to think about how to do this. So... Um, we're going to let go of Alt, right? And they're just going to go down. Down, down, down. Probably not that much. That's pretty extreme. 1,500 feet per minute. We only need to do 800 feet per minute. Oh, it's coming back up. Okay, no, let's go up a few. Let's watch that gauge. Not sure what each town does. There's 800 feet per minute. 850. Nice. 812. Perfect. We'll just keep an eye on our speed, which we will, um keep up I guess is that 170 if I go props forward do the red line let's keep on just below red line I don't think the P or the default plane start on fire but I don't want to start a fire now we've come a long way alrighty so what we're gonna do now is bring our speed back a little bit and we're aiming for what did I say we're aiming for 3500 we'll keep an eye on our VSR tightly and we'll adjust accordingly otherwise um there's not much else to do because we're coming up there and then we're just turn right. Once we turn right, we will disable autopilot, land manually, and we'll report runway in sight and land visually at that point. Because we don't have ILS, so it's a visual landing GPS will get us there. I haven't been doing anything like VNAV with a GPS or anything, which can be done in some cases. I don't know enough about it yet. Something I should learn. But otherwise, I'm watching a whole bunch of stuff. Even though my screen looks static, it's not. I'm watching my speed, which I'm going to bring back to 170. I'm watching the VSR to adjust autopilot, and um, that's it. I'll catch you in a couple minutes. So everything's looking good. Our VSR is down to 692, so it brought us down to about 700 here, and it's right on 700. So I think this down and up is 100 foot per minute change, which would make complete sense. But it's nice to see that. And then, um, two minutes to our last turn, and then once we turn, boom, there's our airport right there. One thing that makes night flying easy is you can see your airport from a long ways away. Sometimes in the daylight, you have a hard time picking things out. Otherwise, our Grand Island, Nebraska, is starting to come into view. It's not just hazy distance lighting, it's actual rendered lighting now. And your interstate must be somewhere around there. Maybe it's further out to the right, I don't know. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the brief glimpse of I-80 when we took off, because that's all we got. So we're going to do our last final look around here before we manage a bunch of stuff, because we're going really fast. We're coming up really fast. We have a lot of speed to lose, gear to get down, flaps to get down. I just want to quickly spin around a couple cities out there. If you're from the area, I'm sure you know what they are. Otherwise, let's have one final look outside here. And maybe even grab, grab a screenshot of that. Window views, that looks awesome. That looks awesome. But this looks really cool. Look at that. That looks great. So if you're from the area, there you go. There's your Grand Island from the air. We're about ready to turn on a final, it looks like. 641 and dropping, so we got to slow down our descent in a minute. 
and 55 seconds that we turn so let's slow this thing way down and uh, what do we want to be at 43 we're below it so let's kill autopilot and let's take this thing in manually I was gonna wait a little bit on autopilot but um, we're below what we wanted to be I think or am I thinking of something else nope 3500 we're not below what we wanted to be I was thinking of a different flight I was planning you know we props forward now let's get geared down that'll help slow us down too and for some reason it wants to turn all by itself we weren't supposed to turn that soon that was weird anyway let's um what are we at 3400 so we're a little bit ahead of schedule i kind of screwed that up a little bit which is okay it's been a while since i've screwed up something like that it's weird i don't know what i did anyway first set of flaps down let's level off use um throttles to level off or else we'll slow down too much because we got a little bit ahead of our descent not sure what happened i think i got really excited about looking out the window and we kind of screwed up so anyway we're all right on the pappy though which would be expected because we dropped below a little bit so we're going to report runway in sight and we are going to land visually in a moment let's bring that in there we go landing lights on gear down first set of flaps look at the second set of flaps in a moment i don't know what the touchdown speed is let's say it's like 90 probably we got one white, three red on the pappy, so let's start coming down to so bring back throttles to come down. Nice gradual turn. I really want to look out the windows. So we all know what happens when I do that. Although in this case wasn't too bad. Yeah, we did overshoot a little bit. Alright, we're two and two, so let's bring actually let's see how we are. Yeah. Coming down a little steep. Yep. Just when the pappy's changed. Why is my yoke so far to the left? It doesn't look like it's left in the picture down below, but my yoke is actually pretty far left. All right, let's start slowing this thing down. So we'll keep level pitch to slow down and bring back throttles to keep our descent. Just use pitch for speed, throttles for descent, second set of flaps. And we're going to flow like crazy. Flaps are down. There we go. Well, keep an eye on our speed. I don't know the aircraft. we got to pay extra, extra attention. I have no idea how this aircraft behaves. All right, so pitch down for speed, bring throttles back, but not too much. We don't want to descend too quickly because we're all right on the pappy. We're lined up, though, and don't stall, Sim. That startles me. Every time I come in for landing and the Sim stalls, it freaks me out. Try not to be distracted by the stars. Those stars are awesome. All right, our speed is probably a little slow, I would think. We're closer to touchdown speed than approach speed, so let's pitch down for speed. Throttle forward so we don't descend, though, when we pitch down. That's how we're going to handle this. Now we're going to the left. I really want to look out the window. Looks so awesome. Let's not. Let's line up with the runway instead. All right. Why is my sim stalling? That makes me nervous. All right. I think this is probably a good approach speed, I would think. Let's start slowing down, though. So pitch off for speed, but bring throttles back so we keep descending. Because we got one, on, one white on the pappy. We really want two. Ooh, wow. It does not take much to slow this thing down, does it? See, there we are getting used to the aircraft. We don't know it. All right, let's um, bring back throttles so we come down a little bit because we're two and two. Perfect. That's what I was looking for. All right, here we go. We're very slow. I'm sure this is much slower than we need to be. But we're going to take it nice and steady. We're not in a hurry. We have a very long runway at this airport for this airplane. We're just going to tease that stall as we get closer here. All right, pitch down for a little bit more speed. Throttles back so we descend because we're two and two. Can't see the numbers, but we're aiming for where we know they are. Let's not stall though. Two and two all the way in. Let's get a little bit more speed so we can just coast over the over the runway here. There we go. We're a little high, maybe not aiming for the numbers. We're missing the touchdown zone, but that's okay. Let's start a round out. Bring back throttles now. And just let it set itself down. Bring it back. There we go. Put the nose wheel down gently. A little bit of left rudder. Ooh, that was very gentle on the nose wheel. And brakes. Gentle brakes. Flaps can come up. And we should have a taxiway here because of the blue lights. We'll just take this one. Nice smooth landing. Very happy with that. Let's get off the taxi or get off the runway though. Once we get past the stop sign, we'll clean up a few things. This is a pretty big airport, so we're going to have to look and see where we're going to go. 
Let's get a little bit further here. All right, let's stop here and set the parking brake since we don't have peripheral vision or somebody to help us look around. Let's stop the clock, which we don't have. I'm pretty sure that was a timer. So it was at 52, I think. So 52 to 22 would be half an hour, so that would be a 41-minute flight. Again, felt very quick compared to that. Let's do the taxi lights, turn off the landing lights, turn the PyTot heat off now, wherever that thing is. And also turn off all this other heat prop. And don't know why it's the stall worn and then heat. I don't get it. Whatever. Turn that. Let's keep that on auto. Um, I think that's all we need to do. We don't really have any lights in the cabin, apparently. I think that's it. Let's just find a place to park, and then we'll turn off everything else. We can turn off nav now. No, it's dark. Let's keep nav on. Where are we going to go? Oh my gosh, what a big place. Although it seems obvious now that we zoom out. We want to go to the... Oh, what's over there to the left? There's something over there. That's probably cargo or something. Let's go over here to the right. So let's just take this taxi right in towards the tower and see what happens. So let's go all the way up here. Parking brake off. Give this thing some power. We'll have an expedited taxiway here. I'm going to bring you with me on this taxi, but I'll do it by speeding up the video. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's slow this thing down and find a place to park. We obviously don't want to park at a terminal if we can help it. So let's hop back here and zoom out a little bit. Where are we going to go? I don't know, but there's a fire truck or something down there. That's kind of funny. What's going on there? What is that thing? Huh, okay. Let's just, um... I really don't know where we're going. This is obviously, like, the terminal area. Let's just go back here. Get back onto the taxiway. <laughs> and go over that way. Looks like there's some GA over there. That's what we'll do. Alrighty, let's get back on the taxiway. And do this the right way and avoid that traffic there. And here we go. Right back, kind of where we were already. I think. Looks like GA stuff here. Perhaps. Yeah, let's, yep, definitely. Because there's our little Cessna. Alright, let's just hop up here. To this hangar. Ooh, light it up. Nice. Alright. We'll just stop here. And set the parking brake. And what are we going to do here? Let's do... Whoa, come on. <laughs> there we go. What are we going to do? Um, My shutdown checklist in this is everything off and open doors. Well, that's useless. Let's bring conditioners back to idle so that it shuts down. And let's bring our magnetos to off. Like so, I don't think there's external power, so we're just going to start turning things off, I guess. That can go off now. Alternators can come off, I guess. Um, all these lights. Boom, boom. And turn the flashlight. There we go. Hop back here. Open up our door. I think the co-pilot has a... Somebody else has a door. Yeah, the co-pilot has a door. As does... No, pilot doesn't. They have a window. All right, let's turn that flashlight off and hop outside. All right, oh gosh, you can't see anything though. I didn't think that through, did I? Let's just zoom out like we normally do at night shots. There we go, very nice. Let's take a screenshot of that too. All right, welcome to Nebraska on Long I-80. Now I can see I-80 in the background because it's close enough to render. We saw for a little bit. Night flight, haven't done a night flight in a while. I figured we'd been doing so many Midwestern states, why not do a night flight? So we did. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, if you have a request for your state, although I'm recording far ahead though, so if you do have a request for your state at this point, you have to redo your state. But if you do have a request for your state, go ahead. Oh, well, there's requests for anything else is fine too. As long as flight time's less than an hour and a half due to real life time constraints. Otherwise, if you found me back, simply subscribe if you are a bigger subscriber. Thank you for your continuing support. I need to rest my voice and see why my work is emailing me so late at night. What is next? Nevada. Nevada is next. All right. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I love these default aircraft. They're very underrated. I love them. And I'm just going to sit here and circle the city for a couple minutes on my own. And I'll catch you on the next one.